Hi, I'm Dr. Holly Korsendorfer, a physical therapist and certified wound specialist working as the Vice President of Business and Clinical Development at Dermorite Industries. As you may know, venous leg ulcers are the most common lower extremity wound which occur more frequently with increasing age and have high recurrence rates. Given our aging demographics, I'm glad you're participating today to learn more about the treatment of venous insufficiency ulcers. At the end of this presentation, you should be able to recognize visual characteristics of venous ulcers, recall treatment options for venous ulcers, and describe methods to prevent venous ulcer recurrence. While assessment of venous leg ulcers is not a component of this presentation, we will start off with a quick summary of typical visual characteristics of venous leg ulcers. This will help you to be familiar with their appearance to better understand treatment options. Venous leg ulcers are typically found above the medial ankle in the gaiter area. They do not develop on the toes, foot, or above the calf muscle. The visual characteristics of a venous leg ulcer include a shallow wound bed that may be large with a red wound base and irregular borders. There may be a yellowish fibrinous layer covering the wound bed. Venous ulcers typically have moderate to heavy exudate, and the peri-wound tissue usually involves hemosiderin staining, edema, varicosities or distended veins, possibly dermatitis, and maceration if the exudate is not adequately managed. Before beginning treatment for venous leg ulcers, it's important to rule out gross arterial disease and confirm the venous etiology of the ulcer. For example, persons with sickle cell disease may develop ulcers that mimic venous ulcers. Conservative treatment options for venous leg ulcers include elevation, compression, wound management, pharmacological agents, exercise, and lastly, corrective vascular surgery. The mainstay of treatment for chronic venous insufficiency is compression, which is also the standard of care for venous leg ulcers. Venous leg ulcers have been shown to heal more quickly when compression is utilized. Compression therapy involves applying devices, garments, or wraps that exert pressure to enhance the calf muscle pump or help overcome the hydrostatic pressure in the veins while improving venous return. Compression reduces edema, pain and discomfort related to chronic venous insufficiency, and may help protect the skin. Before using compression, it's important that you have ruled out arterial insufficiency and are sure there's adequate blood flow to tolerate the treatment and support healing. Also, the source of edema should be confirmed with comorbidities adequately addressed prior to compression. The goals of compression are to improve venous return, decrease edema and pain, and to protect the skin. The contraindications are cautions to using compression.